man, would you help me up? Sure. Everything I've ever wanted. Right in my arms. Poor Christy. If only I'd known how miserable you've been, I wouldn't have given you such a hard time. No, I don't like the wine. Not manly. Did you mean what you said before? Like you never would? You betcha. I am. From now on, no more sneaking around. Mm. You're officially my girl. Oh, mm. Betty. <laughs> You know I'm not good at fancy wines. Do you remember how long it took me to tell you how much I love you? Well, it was good for later. You changed everything for me, Donna. I love you so much. I love you too. They look so happy, don't they? Like newlyweds? You know? Nothing is fine. I'm not upset. Do I look upset? <laughs> no, and I'm shocked. I know it took me a long time to accept my lady sister would go. I wanted to be safe. I chose the best friend I ever had. They're in love, and I'm happy. <laughs> Violet hurt the most. 
Dr. Joe was gone. That girl was never the same. It only took a few weeks for her to break. She never recovered. When my Marco slipped away, his sister, God, best friend, God, he became consumed by the losses. Every day he, he went further and further into his own pain and need for revenge. Marco got his revenge. didn't even try to get away. Marco didn't care. He just stood there and waited for the cops to take him. Marco got a life sentence, refused visitors. He died in prison. No one will ever convince me. He didn't die of a broken heart. Our beautiful little boy was devastated. I knew if I kept him with me, he'd fall into his father's life. So I did what was best for him. Father McBride was very helpful. He made all the arrangements. I told my baby he had to go with father. He actually let me hug him. Father McBride assured me my little boy was going to a good family that he'd be well taken care of. never saw my son again. As for the club, that was the end of it. Opening night was closing night. There was nothing left. New Year's Eve our lives stopped, just like that clock on the wall. But I had lived more in those hours before midnight than I ever have since. That's quite a story. <laughs> Thank you for sharing it. Well... Thank you for listening to an old woman ramble. Uh, there's one more thing. I'd like you to have this. Uh, uh, this is your... your gift from Marco? Yes. <laughs> I'm flattered, but I, I don't understand why you want... To give it to me. Uh, maybe it's because you remind me of my other self. I can't take it with me. It was a gift of love. And I'd like someone who understands to have it. It would please me very much if you would take it. Uh. 
Um, I, I don't know what to say. I'll treasure it. Always. Uh, and now, young man, would you do me the honor of escorting me home? I'm tired, and I'd like to go home. It would be my pleasure. <laughs> yeah. I will never forget you and what happened here. Yeah. Good. All right, let's go. My kids waiting. Let's go. <laughs> 